Okay, so you know that feeling, right, when you, like, get a brand new gadget and you just want to rip open the box and then uh, you kind of just stare at the instruction manual? Yeah. Today, we are tackling that feeling head-on by diving deep into the Huawei Watch Ultimate User Manual. And trust me, this is not your typical skim and toss manual. No. This thing is absolutely packed with details. It really is. We're talking about unlocking the full potential of this beast of a smartwatch. From fitness tracking that borders on superhuman to some seriously impressive health monitoring features, this thing can do it all. It's true. And you know what's really fascinating to me is how user-friendly the manual is. It breaks down even the most complex features into really digestible bites, which is great because this watch can do a lot. Yeah. It, it, it. So first things first, let's like virtually unbox this thing. Mm -hmm. I imagine you've just like peeled off that sleek packaging. What are we looking at? We've got this beautiful high resolution touchscreen, of course, but the manual does a great job of highlighting the physical buttons and the sensors too. Right. It walks you through what each one does and how it all comes together. It's like a roadmap to your own personal tech haven right there on your wrist. Mm. I was blown away by the level of detail they go into, even for something like as seemingly basic as the button assist feature. Which is actually quite clever. It's like a shortcut menu, especially useful when you're on the move or say underwater and you need to access those key functions quickly. Speaking of underwater, that's where this watch really surprised yeah. me. I'll admit when I first saw dive mode, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, a basic depth gauge, that's deep, but this, this goes way beyond. It's like they crammed an entire dive computer into this watch. You can track your depth, your dive time, ascent rate, even switch between different gas mixtures automatically at preset depths. Hold on. Gas mixtures, talk about going deep. I'm picturing myself more as a casual pool swimmer. Yeah. But this level of detail is seriously impressive. It is. It really highlights the engineering that went into this thing. The manual emphasizes how it prioritizes safety, especially for divers venturing into deeper waters. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're exploring a shipwreck, totally engrossed in that otherworldly silence, and the watch seamlessly switches your gas mixture at the precise depth you programmed. Wow. That's incredible. You'd almost forget you're wearing a watch, not some like high-tech diving equipment. Okay, so we've established this watch can handle the deep end, literally. But what about us land dwellers? What about those of us more interested in tracking our daily jogs than our deep sea explorations? Well, for those of us who prefer to, you know, stay on solid ground, this watch really shines when it comes to fitness tracking. And I'm not just talking about counting steps here. This goes way beyond the basics. Okay, I'm intrigued. Give me the rundown. What makes this watch's fitness tracking so special? It's all about the data. This watch is like having a personal trainer right there on your wrist, constantly collecting information and then like translating it into actionable insights. Take the running ability index, for example, or uh, RAI. RAI. That sounds familiar. Remind me what that is again. So imagine you want to understand not just how fast you can run, but how efficiently you're using your energy. That's what RAI is all about. It analyzes your pace, your heart rate, all these different data points, and then it gives you a score that reflects your overall running efficiency. So it's not just about bragging rights for like how fast you can clock a mile. Yep. It's about understanding your own performance potential. And the manual even goes into detail about how you can actually use your RAI score to adjust your training, improve your form, maybe even prevent injuries. <laughs> Now that's what I call smart technology. Yeah. It's not just throwing numbers out yet. It's actually helping you understand what those numbers mean, you know, for you and your fitness goals. Right. And it goes beyond running too. The watch tracks a range of activities from swimming to cycling to hiking, you name it, all with like the same level of detail and insightful metrics. It's clear they designed this thing with like the data-driven fitness enthusiast in mind. I got to admit, even as someone who enjoys a good workout, I've always been a bit intimidated by, you know, things like lactate threshold and VO2 max. But the manual actually breaks those concepts down in a way that makes sense even for like a non-scientist like me. Yeah, no, totally. That's what impressed me too. It explains what those terms mean, how they actually relate to your overall fitness, and then how the watch actually measures them. For example, lactate threshold. That's the point during exercise when your body starts producing more lactate than it can remove. Okay, that sounds kind of tense. It is. But the watch helps you identify it so you can train more effectively. It's really fascinating stuff. And speaking of, you know, pushing your limits, we can't forget about the stress monitoring features. Because, let's be honest, life, it can get pretty hectic. You know me, I thrive on a little bit of chaos. But even I have to admit sometimes that stress can really sneak up on you. 
So how does this watch even begin to measure stress? It's actually pretty clever. The watch analyzes your heart rate variability. So that's like those tiny variations in the time between your heartbeats. Yeah. And it turns out stress can actually affect these variations and the watch can pick up on those really subtle changes. So it's like having a tiny little detective right yeah. there on your wrist looking for clues about your stress levels. That's pretty wild. It is. It's like having a little health coach right there nudging you to maybe take a step back and prioritize your well-being when you need it most. The manual even suggests different relaxation techniques based on your stress readings. It's all about like empowering you to take control of your health, both physically and mentally. Okay. I'm starting to see why they put so much effort into this manual. They're not just telling you how to use the watch. They're guiding you on how to integrate it into your life in a meaningful way. But you know me. I'm always on the lookout for those like hidden gems, those unexpected features that kind of make you go, wait, you could do that. Did you uncover anything like that in your deep dive? Oh, absolutely. Remember how we talked about the watch being packed with all those sensors? Yeah, it's like a mini medical lab right yeah. there on your wrist. ECG, SpO2, skin temperature, you name it. This watch probably measures it. Exactly. And one of the coolest applications of all those sensors is sleep tracking. Sleep tracking. I mean, I get it. Sleep is important, but I feel like Every smartwatch under the sun claims to track your sleep these days. What makes this one different? Sleep tracking. I mean, I get it. Sleep is important. But I feel like every smartwatch under the sun claims to track your sleep these days. What makes this one different? You're right. Sleep tracking has become pretty standard. But this watch takes it up a notch. It uses all those sensors we talked about, heart rate, SpO2, even skin temperature, to give you, like, a really detailed picture of your sleep patterns. We're talking like identifying different sleep stages, not just telling you if you were tossing and turning all night. Okay, so instead of just getting a number for like how many hours I slept, I'm actually getting insights into the quality of my sleep. I'm picturing like detailed graphs, maybe even a sleep score, <laughs> you know, like I see for my steps. You got it. And the manual actually like encourages you to look for trends in your sleep data. Are you consistently waking up during a certain sleep stage? Is your heart rate kind of all over the place at night? This information can be incredibly valuable. It's like having a sleep diary, but without having to remember to write anything down. Exactly. And the manual takes it a step further, connecting those sleep insights to your overall health and suggesting ways to, you know, maybe improve your sleep hygiene based on the data. This is what I love about this deep dive. Who knew a user manual could be this insightful? It's like, They've thought of everything. They really have. In fact, remember how we were both kind of struck by like the depth of information on all those diving features? Yeah. Well tucked away in that section, there's this little mystery that caught my eye. Oh, mystery. <laughs> you know I love a good puzzle. Lay it on me. Okay, so it's called Tri-Ring. And the manual mentions it, like just in passing, describing it as some kind of visual representation of your daily activity levels. But guy... That sounds familiar, but I don't really recall seeing anything about it on the watch itself. Did the manual give any clues about what it looks like or how to even activate it? That's the thing. It's like they planted a seed but totally forgot to water it, you know? Yeah. The details are incredibly vague, almost like they ran out of space or time to fully explain it. Okay, now that's just teasing us. A secret feature buried in the depths of the user manual. This feels like we're in a tech thriller, about to uncover, like, a hidden level of the watch's operating system. Right. And it makes you wonder, like, is this something that maybe they're still developing? Did they intentionally leave it shrouded in mystery? I guess the only way to find out is to roll up our sleeves and do a little digging ourselves. And that, my friend, is where you, our intrepid listener, come in. We're putting out an all call. If you have a Huawei Watch Ultimate, fire it up. Dive into those menus and see if you can track down this elusive triring. What secrets does it hold? Is it a game, a fitness challenge, like a whole new level of personalization? We need your help to crack this code. This is what we love about deep dives like this. It's not just about, you know, summarizing a manual. It's about sparking curiosity, encouraging you to explore, and maybe even uncovering some hidden features along the way. So there you have it. We've explored the depths of the Huawei Watch Ultimate User Manual, uncovering a treasure trove of information, and, of course, leaving you with one very tantalizing mystery. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep those curiosity gears turning. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to solve the riddle of trying.